One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. <laughs> All right, everybody. What is going on? Welcome to Greedfall. Um, this is a free game that's on PS Plus for January. Um, I did a video on Tomb Raider, which is another one of the free games. So if you want to see that, there's a card on the right-hand corner of the screen or a playlist in the description. So, uh, you know, you can go watch those if you want to. But, um, yeah, if you're new, my name's Lifetime Gamer. I play Call of Duty, and sometimes I play other games. Like right now, we're playing Greedfall. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. 
He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested my finish this talk! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. I'm sorry, I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. I must go to the dispensary. Maybe I will be able to make myself useful there. I lost almost my entire family in a few months. Why did they have to die? I must go to the dispensary. Maybe I will be able to make myself useful there. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. I must go home. My son is sick. There were so many dead people. Even if we did find an antidote to the Malachor, I do not know if our city will ever be able to come back from it. I must go home. My son is sick. Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Mm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Defend yourself well, Greenblood. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. And you already training for your new post of legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No, thanks all the same. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. 
And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. I've put this off for as long as I can. I need to make my farewells to my mother. I'll go... What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now. Let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits.
Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. Greetings, Your Excellency. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? To my help! Yeah. Death to the others! <laughs> and the bridge alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for the next mission? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <sighs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. Do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Swarm through! Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to love?
Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But... This cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure, like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norths, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish, you'll find them over there, in port. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern. But I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. 
We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 3D. We'll place guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse, and noted on the manifest, will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. But the commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a Nord? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Nords master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nord from birth. Others are sea gifted, joined the Nords for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Could you tell me anything about our destination, the island of Tierfredi? It is a magnificent place, wild, spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They're a very friendly people, welcoming, but will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous, but I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime lore holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Be back soon, Captain. Do you have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. To my help! And death to the others! Careful, green blood! They keep the official documents upstairs. If you wore a Nort uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. <laughs> Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Uh, 
Hello. What can I do for you? With the relay. You're dismissed. Finally. We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely vital. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Well then, were you able to repair it all? No, I haven't been able to sort them out. In that case, you need to pay me, sir. I regret I don't have the sum you're asking for. Either you repair them, or you reimburse their cost. Or I keep what I know about your cousin to myself. That's ridiculous. He could reimburse you easily. He's quite a rich man. Perhaps, but a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And as for promises, I've heard enough to fill an ocean. <laughs> Very well. I will see what I can scavenge in that case. How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late, things are looking better. The Malikor and the neighboring walls have dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages, but the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, Quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People were still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. The city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tirfredi. Right. Even stories that my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. They say that man trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the port. Ah, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations.
Greetings. I hope your day will be better than mine. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of his allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemy. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier for D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island, an enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. And what of your war with Telele? It has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. 
but that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are, in fact, quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah. You must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tierfredi? 
we built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tier for D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energize life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But, as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But. If it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I swear you'd hear that vial out of your pocket. 
Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his card. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right. Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? Oh, you don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture 
provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Alright everyone, I'm just popping in to say that um, if you want to watch the other PS Plus games, Tomb Raider, I'm going to upload the other one because I don't have a PS5 because, you know, they're impossible to get sad times. Um, there's a card in the right hand corner of the screen. You click on it, you can go watch the Tomb Raider video if you want. There's no spoilers in that one. But, um, yeah, that's actually all of this video. Um, let me know if you want to see the non-spoiler one. I think I might make one like the Tomb Raider where it's just like this except no spoilers where it's just like gameplay, you know, different gameplay stuff and funny moments and stuff like that. So, um, let me know if you want to see that. Do let me know, you know, um, leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, all those things. Let me know you want to see it. I see subs and likes go up. That's just an indicator to me when I go look what videos I upload. The ones that have the most subs and likes on them is the ones I usually upload. Um, so, um, yeah, not to sound baby, but that is true. You know, I'm just being honest. Um, nothing else I want to say. I guess 